Hello, good day to everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Lessons Made Easy with Teacher Phoebe. So for today, we are going to have our discussion about basic construction in geometry and this will be part one. Okay, so what is the objective of today's construction? Today, we are going to bisect line segments and angles. And in order for us to construct and bisect line segments and angles, we need the following materials. First, you need a compass. Okay? Kasi gagawitin natin yon para makapag-create tayo or makapag-bisect tayo ng segment and angles. Also, another material that you need is the ruler or straight edge anything na pang basta makakaguhit ng straight hindi yung makakaguhit ng balibali kong line okay anything not necessarily me not necessarily na merong mga mga measure or yung katulad nito na mayroong indication ng inches or centimeters hindi naman kailangan ganoon anything na pangguhit can do kasi wala na, hindi naman natin gagamitin yung naandyan sa ruler na merong okay so please watch the following video on how to construct and bisect line segments and angles Alright, so here are the steps in constructing a segment by sector. Imagine, imagine that you have a pretzel breadstick here and dalawa kayong magkapatid, nanghihingi yung kapatid mo. Of course, hindi naman pwedeng um, hatiin mo yung breadstick ng dito part. So, kailangan dapat hating kapatid. Excuse me sa langgam. <laughs> okay, so we have to bisect really this pretzel stick into e into two equal parts all right so to start with i will be drawing two points and i will be making two i will be making a line segment and to do that of course i have to draw two end points that will be two points that will serve as my end points that will serve as the end points of my line segment okay so let me name this as point a and this one is point b then connect the two points using a straight edge and voila you already have a line segment a b Okay, so ang gagawin natin ngayon ay ibabisect natin yung line segment AB, meaning we are going to divide it into two congruent or equal parts. And to do that, here are the steps that you are going to follow. Step number one, place your compass. Of course, you will need a compass. Okay, you know what a compass is, right? Place your compass on point A. Okay? So, syempre, yung matulis ang itatapat natin sa point A. And then, and then, stretch the compass more than, so, nang lagpas sa kalahate. Okay? Stretch natin. Kumbaga, itansahin mo na lang, estimate mo na lang kung na nandito banda yung gitna natin. So, hindi naman pwede basta lang tayong gumawa ng guhit dyan. Okay? Kailangan dapat Medyo, dapat talaga, we have to follow on the steps in constructing. So, itapat yung matulis sa point A, then outstretch more than halfway to point B. So, malapit dun sa point B. Pero, huwag naman masyadong ano na doon, malapit doon. Yung bandang makalagpas lang ng konti sa gitna. Okay? So, swing. Step number two, with this length, swing. Swing natin ngayon. Swing a large arc that will go above and below line segment AB. So, let us swing now. Swing. So, ito na bali yung step to natin. Swing. Ayan. Swing na natin. Swing it. Okay, just swing it like that. Do not move. Okay? Alright. So, there we go. Nakikita nyo ba yung figure natin? Okay. Um, take note. <laughs> hindi mo pwedeng galawin 
yung kung paano mo inopen yung compass mo nung nilagay natin sa point A. Tapos nung nag-swing tayo, huwag mo siyang titiklupin agad, okay? Hold mo lang muna siya ng ganyan. And then, ilagay naman natin siya ngayon sa point B. Ilagay natin yung matulis sa point B then as uh, mag-swing ka naman ngayon dito sa B. Katulad ng ginawa natin doon sa A, sa point A. Oops. Okay, there you go. So, you just have to be really very careful na talagang hindi ka magalaw. Okay? In hold mo. Hold still. Right. Yan. Then, you're almost done. Uh, after that, what you're going to do is to, again, going back to the straight edge that we just used a while ago. I-connect na natin ngayon yung intersection ng dalawang arcs natin. Okay? So, di ba? Ito yung ito yung arc natin. Yung unang arc natin at saka yung pangalawang arc natin. Somehow, nagkaroon ng intersection dito at saka nagkaroon ng intersection dito. So, you don't need to use um, colored Bale, parang ang pinaka gagamitin lang talaga natin dito is the pencil. Then, again, you may use already the pencil of your compass, then your straight edge. I-connect na natin yung dalawang point na yan. Then, pagka-connect natin, of course, in connecting, you have to do, draw a line segment. There you go. You're all done. You now, divide the line segment equally into two parts. Itong line segment na to, bali yung buong line segment natin, nahati na natin siya sa dalawang equal na dalawang congruent parts. Okay, so this line segment and this line segment. Now, let's name this point of intersection as my point C. So, we can now say that Line segment AC is congruent to line segment CB. So that is how you are going to construct a segment by sector. Ang segment by sector natin ay ito. Yan yung by sector natin. Okay? Okay, so here are now the steps in constructing an angle by sector. Okay, so imagine that you have a pizza and this is the only one left. Okay, ngayon, dalawa kayo magkapatid. Remember, si kapatid ay nagugutom din. Gusto niyang manghingi sa'yo sa natitirang pizza mo. Of course, hindi pwedeng hatiin natin dito banda, di ba? Ito yung sayo, tapos ito yung kanya, yung walang masyadong toppings. Hindi ganun. The correct way of um, dividing this pizza is that dito tayo maghahati papunta doon. Tapos hindi naman natin pwedeng hatiin ng dito. Hindi na yun hatin kapatid. Ito, ito kanya, ito sayo kasi malaki ka. <laughs> okay, so we have to divide our pizza into two equal parts. And to do that, of course, let me draw an angle for you. Diba? Pizza is an example of object or picture that uh, illustrates an angle. Okay, so I'm drawing here a vertex. This will serve as the vertex of my angle. And the two points here are the points that are on the sides of the angle. Okay, then using your straight edge, of course, connect. Connect. Then, draw array. Okay. And, here, draw array also. Kasi hindi pwedeng walang ray ang angle natin. It's not an angle if it doesn't have a ray. Then, let me name this point as my point A. This point as my point B. And this point as my point C. So, I now have angle A, B, C. And we, what we are going to do is that we are going to divide this angle into two equal parts. Okay, so here are now the steps. Step number one, 
place the compass point okay place a compass point on the vertex of the angle okay ganun lang kasimple step number two stretch the compass to any length that will stay on the angle okay so stretch down natin siya right stretch ganun lang stretch pa lang okay baba ko muna ng konti then for step number two is to swing an arc so the pencil crosses both sides or rays of the given angle you should now have two intersection points with the sides or rays of the angle okay so the back step number two um, stretch then step number three okay swing or draw an arc that intersects this ray and this ray so nag swing lang ako did you see it this point, nagkaroon na ako ng point of intersection dito. And another point of intersection here. Yun yung sinasabi sa step number 3. Now, for step number 4, okay, place the compass point to a sufficient... Place the compass point on one of these new intersections. So, ilagay daw natin dito. Okay, then, what we're going to do is that we just stretch the compass to a sufficient length. Huwag naman masyadong lagpas sa angle natin. Kailangan nasa interior lang. Okay? Bahala ka. Pwede pa ganyan. O pwede. Basta yung lagpas din sa halfway. Okay? So, mga ganyan. That will be already okay. Then, um, we just swing it. Okay? We just swing it. Swing lang natin ng pag-anon. Okay lang naman na huwag masyadong masahop yung buong ano entire angle natin. Just swing it a little. There. Okay. Start ka lang ng lagpas konti dito sa nagawa nating arc kanina. Papunta lang doon. Okay. Then, without changing the span on the compass, place the point. I mean, the point. Compass point there also. Tapos, ganun din gagawin natin. Okay. So, you just swing it going there. Okay. Yan. Okay na yan. Then, what do you see? What have you observed? May nagkaro nagkaroon tayo ng bagong intersection point. Okay? Yung arc na to at saka tong arc na to nagkaroon ng intersection and that intersection is here. It's a point. Then, what do we do next? Okay? Step number six, connect the vertex of the angle to the point of intersection of the two small arcs. So, again, using your straight edge, okay, our straight edge, let us draw a, or connect. Okay, connect na daw natin. Of course, dahil angle yung pinag-uusapan natin dito, ang drawing natin ay ray. Okay, ulit ko lang para makita ninyo. Then, an arrow. Alright. Now, we can clearly see na itong ray na to is an angle bisector of angle A, B, C. Let me name my point here as point D. Okay? So, point D. Point D yung point ko dito. Now, we can say that angle A, B, D, A, B, D is congruent to angle B, B, C. B, B, C. Okay? So, you now have two new angles of equal measure with each being half of the original given Okay, that will be all. I hope you learned a lot in this video lesson. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. And also, uh, click the notification bell icon so that you will be notified if there are already videos uploaded. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Bye-bye everyone and God bless.